What's up y'all, it's your girl and I'm back for another video. Okay y'all, so I am going through some things right now and I thought I'd share with you guys because this is real life, it's like shit happens and sometimes things happen um, where you're just like, what am I gonna do? This is something that I've been keeping from you guys for a minute, like, of course, because you guys just found out about the pregnancy, and then now all of a sudden, hold on, and then now all of a sudden I have all this drama for your mama going on. Not really, but kind of. The boys are over here playing, the kids are at school, so, anyway, work with me, y'all, work with me, y'all gonna hear some baby kid noises in the background. Okay, so let me start from the beginning. Um... Beginning of this pregnancy, I went to an OB who I just I just did a search for an OB and I had went to him a couple times before just for like you know to start um, you know how do you put it to just kind of like start you know feminine care you know you have to have a doctor a feminine gynecologist he's he's been recommended a few times to me doctor okay black guy I say that because. I like to support our brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, in our professional field. Um, I think I said that to you guys before. I went um, to him a couple of times. for the Before I was pregnant, I didn't have any issues with him. I thought he was cool. Like, you know, he was quick, fast, and I liked it. Um, just because I didn't want to be up in there all day and stuff like that. But when you're pregnant, it's completely different. You know, you want somebody who's going to take their time with you, answer your questions, make sure that you're good to go. He's not a bad guy. He just doesn't, he's quick. I, I don't want to be in there for hours and hours and hours, but I also want you to make me feel like the time, the 15 minutes that we are together, that you care about what I'm going through that you're not trying to rush me and push me out the door just so you can get another patient in you know what I mean I don't want to feel I know everybody is in a rush because you know you got deliveries to do you've got clinics to do you got other you know a room full of patients to see I get it but I have had multiple children and I've never been with someone who was always one foot out the door like this guy was um I mean, and then he started scheduling me with his nurse practitioner, which I wasn't a fan of because I feel like I'm going there to see you. But I understand also you're busy. You have a lot of patients. Some days, if it's just I'm going in for testing or something, it's okay to just see the nurse practitioner. I'm not picky in that way. I will I will settle for the nurse practitioner as long as they're just as good, right? Um, she was a nice older lady. I don't have a problem with her either. But again, I went in there after I had got some blood work done. She came in there. She didn't have any of my blood work results. She actually waited. I waited because I'm not used to doctors like not or, you know, nurse practitioners. I'm not used to medical staff not having the information readily available, like ready to give me um, or to go over with me. And so, you know, we finished the appointment. And then at the very end, yeah. Yeah. Blaze is right here. No. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> June Bug, you want to say hi? Hi, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, So, he's just growing up. Like, they're both just growing up. Like, whoa, slow, slow down. Slow down. Think of my babies. Okay, so, um, and then I waited to the end of the appointment, and she was... She did, wasn't even about to give me my results. And I, I was like, wait a minute, can you give me my results from the blood work that I had done a few weeks ago? And she was like, oh yeah, let me go get them. And I was like, I was shocked. I didn't say anything at the time, but I was shocked that she didn't even review my results before walking in the door. I've never, I have just never experienced this level of like, I don't give a shitness. You know what I mean? I just was like, what what's going on here you see what i'm saying and so i'm in the hallway and she comes up to me and she just she has the folder and she's just like yep everything looks good and i'm just like oh so that's it and she's like yeah i'm like okay well this is how we're gonna do this huh you know um and then after the second time of seeing her i just said you know what i don't want to do this you know what i'm saying this is my ninth child and although i i generally have yeah although i june be quiet although you're talking too loud you know generally everything runs smoothly throughout my pregnancies i still am con i still do get concerned and worried because you know um because when you have a child it opens, you know, when you bring in a life into this world, you open the door to death as well. And I hate to say that like that because I always, I'm, I'm positive. I don't, I don't plan on going nowhere. I think the good Lord is not done with me here yet. You see what I'm saying? I don't want something to come along and 
not be able to have had the care that I deserve or my child deserves. You see what I'm saying? Or to have some type of, you know, something, complication or something because of lack of care. This doctor, they didn't even do like urine samples. Now, if you guys have had a child or if you're pregnant now, usually every time you go in, they take a urine sample. It just check, check, make sure you don't have any vaginal issues going on, no infections, no low um, protein counts, high protein counts, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They could test so many things just through your urine th when, during your pregnancy and they didn't even do this here. Like, I think the first time just to confirm the pregnancy, that's when they did it. Um, and I'm just like, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm not used to this level of care, this lack of care, I should say. Um, in Colorado, it's not like that. They are on top of it. Usually, all the doctors I've been to, I've always been happy with who I got. And this is not even doing a whole slew full of research and having to go through a whole bunch. Um, this is so, like, my heart hurts because I just, it just... It just irritates me. You know, so then I start asking around and stuff like that. I was recommended a few doctors on my side of town. It is nap time, y'all. Somebody who has good bedside manner. Somebody who's not going to make me feel like I'm a number. So, um, after I decided to leave. So, in Colorado, how it usually goes is that you will find a practice under a name. Um, like, you know, University of Denver, whatever. OBGYN clinic, whatever. And under in that practice, in that office, you will have four or five doctors. And you can pick one, or you can see all of them, or whatever, you know, however. But it, you find a practice, that hospital, that location is where all those doctors work out of. You have a practice under the same name, and um, they'll have different locations. So what makes it difficult, that's, that, that adds a level of difficulty to finding a doctor like if i want to go to um like say for instance an OBGYN clinic and i call the name say it's like meadows women's center or something like that and i call the name that doctor that i might be looking for might have a practice up the street then there's another doctor that's under the same name but they're on another location so there's five doctors under the same practice name but they all have different locations then you have to call them all separately which is okay you gotta do what you gotta do uh, which is not that big of a deal but then there's all these other catch-22s that I've been going through which we'll get into um, but it makes it harder to track down doctors is what I'm saying <sighs> it's hard to just it's hard to even talk about this I'm so frustrated right now with the the difficulty so um that's kind of how the practices, the OBGYN practices out here work, which is so different for me. So that's been a level of, of BS. I called a couple places and they were like, well, if you already have an OBGYN, you have to be released from there before we can even make you an appointment. Again, I'm not used to that because in Colorado, that's not the way it works. Like if you want to change doctors, you don't have to ask permission. You just call the place that you want to go to and they will handle the rest. Okay, we'll get your documents or your records from the last place. Let's get you in here. Um, out here, it's like, no, you don't. We, we don't go through you. You can't call us and, and schedule anything. You have to get released from your doctor. They'll send us the information and then we'll call you. And I'm just thinking like, this is crazy. I went through that for about a week. And then I said, you know what, let me, let me switch the game up. Let me just say I don't have an OB because I don't, I, I felt like I didn't want to go through the process of having to make it. A, I didn't want to have to go through the process of having to make an appointment to go see him just to tell him, I don't like you. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm going to go somewhere else. I, that's, that's weird. So I was just like, you know what, let, let me just tell them I don't have an OB. We can start from the beginning, whatever. So I did that. I got into another doctor, <laughs> doctor's office, which I loved. I loved her office. I thought it was modern. I didn't get to see the doctor because she was out of town. I saw the PCP. She was very thorough. You know what I'm saying? They did ultrasounds and everything. And that's how I had the ultrasounds for you guys to see. They did everything that they were supposed to do. I was comfortable. Um, and so I was like, okay, good. I'm glad I found you guys. And so I called them back a couple of days later. And I said, hey, you know, I ran out after my first appointment the other day and I didn't make it a schedule up, a follow up appointment. And she's like, hold on a second. She comes back to the phone a few minutes later. Some lady who says she's the office manager gets on the phone and she's like, I'm sorry, we won't be able to we won't be able to see you here. 
And I'm like, what? The doctor that I left and the doctor who I wanted to go to, they are on call. It's, it's a man and the woman who I went to. And then there's another like doctor. They're all three on call. And they're like, we can't see you here because if something were to happen, they're, all, they're on the same call schedule. So if something were to happen and you were to go into labor on a weekend or a weekday that my doctor who I wanted to see isn't available, then that doctor would take me and deliver my child. And they're like, she's like, it would be awkward for the doctor. So they don't share patients that way. So we can't see you. <sighs> Switch this camera around. This is better lighting. My bad, y'all. Um, and I just was like devastated as fuck. Like, I cried so hard because first of all, I I argued back and forth. I didn't argue with her, but I went back and forth with her a couple times. I'm like, why would that even matter? Because I don't, I don't dislike the guy. I just don't. And I'm not saying that I would want him to, um, I'm not saying that I would want him to deliver my child, but you know, it's not that I thought he was a bad doctor. I just did not like the way he ran his practice. I just didn't want him to take care of my pregnancy. I needed somebody who's going to give me the proper referrals. Like I, I just, they, they weren't on top of it at his practice. I'm sorry. They just weren't. And so, um, I feel like they were punishing me because I left. And it was like, wait a minute, I, it should be my choice. If I felt awkward, I'm the patient. You see what I'm saying? You're the doctor. You should not care about awkwardness. This is a job. This is your job. Your job is to get me through delivery, labor and delivery, and get the child out of the, safely. Everybody safe. That's your main concern. It should not matter all the little technical, she left my, my practice and went to your practice. That should not even matter. It shouldn't even matter. It should be more focused on what you, what I want. I'm the patient. You see what I'm saying? So I was very, very upset. I just cried really hard. It's hard for me not to get emotional about it right now because y'all don't know what I've been through. Okay. Y'all don't know what I've been through. Um, I just, every time I call somewhere or I'll get a referral for, um, or I'll, you know, I'm, I've been doing research. I've been finding really good doctors that have really good, um, you know, reviews and stuff like that. And they'll be close to me delivering at the hospital that I want to deliver at. Um, and it'll be something like they, they won't, they're not accepting patients. I called one doctor, um, another woman doctor <laughs> under the same practice name, but different locations. And um, her and her husband have good reviews out here. And I called and they said that, um, it's just frustrating. They told, they told, um, they told me that they, you know, she pulled my, my information up and she said, fine, because of what happened, let me just back up a little bit. Because of what happened with the first doctor and the second doctor, they released me from care. So now, you know, I don't have any doctor. Um, and I don't have to go back to the, that doctor, the first doctor to get released or the second doctor. So that's fine. Uh, uh, so that's fine. Um, sit down, boo-boo. So she, she recommended, she was like, well, maybe, you know, just call other doctors that are under the same practice name that are close to you. So I've done that. I found, like I said, uh, another doctor who is under the same practice name, different location. Um, and called her and her receptionist told me that she had to send her a message to ask if she would take me on. I'm guessing cause I'm 20 weeks at the time. This was two weeks ago or a week ago. So who knows? This, this is not what I'm used to. I've never, if I would have known this, then I would have done my research properly before jumping the gun and just picking somebody. Um, who's going to be my prenatal doctor. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? I just, if I would have known that it would have been this difficult to find a doctor, secure a doctor or whatever, then I would have, I would not have done this to myself. You see what I'm saying? Um, I just didn't know. And it's all a learning experience. But at the same time, it's like, I need some help now. I need care now. I'm missing like my um, genetic testing and stuff has to be done before 20 weeks. I don't have that because of this issue with doctors and finding somebody who could take me. So I, like I said, Back to the story, I found a doctor and she, her receptionist says, well, I have to send her, I have to ask her if she'll take you on as a patient, I'll call you right back. That was last Monday. It's Monday, it's been a week. 
Um, by Wednesday, I didn't hear from any, her. I call her back. I say, hey, I, I called somebody Monday. They said they were going to ask her if she could take me on as a patient. And no one's called me back. She's like, well, she's um, been busy with patients all day today. But I will call you back by the end of the day either way today. I will get an answer for you today. She calls me at the end of the day Wednesday. And she says, I'm sorry. I was not able to get in touch with her today. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, all right. And so I, she's like, well, I will, I will reach out to her first thing in the morning. I say, okay, Thursday comes and goes Friday morning. I call back and I'm, I'm like, I need somebody, anybody. There's three other doctors under this name, um, under, under this practice name on this, on this, this, whatever. I don't even know how to explain it anymore. There's Southern Hills, there's Meadows and there's Southwest. Um, and I'm like, there's three, four other doctors. Can you just, can, at this point, I will take fucking anybody somebody you know what i mean ask ask all of them if they'll take me on so i can get somebody to say yes or no you know what i mean and the guy that i got i got a guy this time and he's like well no we don't we don't want to send another note to a, another doctor then we have to start the process all over again and wait all over again we'll just wait until we hear back from this doctor this doctor is not fucking responding so it must be a no or she's too busy to read her messages or whatever the fuck you guys do. I thought, you know, I'm used to like, if you got to ask a doctor a question, hold on, I'm gonna go ask the doctor. He's up the hall at his office. You know what I'm saying? Are you not, are you telling me that you are like a reception location away from where the doctor is? Like, I'm, I'm not understanding. So it's, and, and I still haven't heard anything. It's almost the end of their work day is two o'clock and I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to call me back. Um... I just have never dealt with this. I've never been so far along in my pregnancy with hardly any testing done. Generally, from the ultrasounds that I've seen and everything, and the blood work, the one set of blood work that I did have at the beginning of my pregnancy, I'm healthy. Baby's healthy. Baby's fine. Baby's moving. I feel the baby all the time. But I have no fucking doctor. At this point, I'm going to be having an unmedicated, unsupervised... <laughs> you know, unassisted, uh, home birth. You know what I'm saying? At this point in the game, at this stage in the game, I'm not going to have a doctor to go to a hospital to deliver at. I'm not going to have anything. I'm going to be here delivering my own fucking kid. That's what it's feeling like. You see what I'm saying? The worst feeling you can have is to be like in a position where you have no care in this vulnerable position that I'm in. I have no fucking care. And even though this is my ninth kid, I give a fuck about this kid just as much as I did about all the other pregnancies. I want to be healthy and I want the kid to be healthy. So I can't just, you know, it's stressful. All right, that's the backstory, y'all. I'm so frustrated. I decided to film this video because people who want to move to Las Vegas who are still thinking of having kids or whatever, just know this is not easy. Like, a prenatal care out here is fucking, it's, it's just not... It's not like other places, other places of the world who have their shit together as far as medical goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the web website of the people who told me no last time. I'm going to call them and then I'm going to get on that ass. And I'm going to be like, look, I need somebody from your office to call me back today and let me know what's going on and if not i need them to know that let me know i mean if you guys can't get back to me by the end of today forget it and i'm gonna call a few other doctors too i have to find somebody and i need to find somebody this week because i'm starting to get concerned if you know the extension you are calling press it at any time for office hours directions fax number and information please hold for the receptionist you are the second caller in the queue Hi, I'm calling because I have called, I called um, Monday of last week to see that if Dr. Uh, can uh, take a new patient on, I'm 20 weeks and I haven't gotten a call back, I haven't gotten any response and I need to, an answer either way. Did you send your medical records? You guys already have me in the system because I was released from care from another doctor. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like uh, doctors responded yet. Okay, so is there anybody else who could take me? I mean, I haven't had, I've, I'm 20 weeks and I've barely had any any care at all. No testing, nothing. And I'm starting to get concerned. Um, if 
you're think you're having a problem about anything, then you should go to the hospital. But unfortunately, we have to wait for the doctor to say whether she would take you or not. Okay, here's what I'm saying. No, I don't think I'm having an emergency, but this is an emergent situation because I have no OB care. So I'm just trying to see. There's a few other doctors listed on, on the website under this location. Is there any other of the other three doctors that might be able to give me an answer quickly, you know, quicker than this? Because at this point, it's been a week and I don't know if it'll be another week or two weeks, you know. And if that's the case, then maybe I should just look for another doctor. Okay, well, it wouldn't be any sooner. Um, the doctor's gonna, you know, she has to look through your records and put a note in your chart. She printed it out, she gave it to the doctor, and we just have to wait to get it back from the doctor. Okay, so you're not able to ask any of the other three doctors there if they'll do it either? Of course, then, you're, then we're starting all over again. We could ask another doctor, but then you're waiting again. Well, they might get back to me quicker than, you know, then doctor, maybe she's just too busy to take on another patient right They're now. They're all busy, yeah. The doctors, they are all, unfortunately, really busy. Okay, so here's the thing. I called another location uh, last week as okay. well, and the lady who answered the phone was able to tell me whether that doctor was able to take on a new patient or not. And so I didn't have to wait in a week. So I, you know, at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to get a call back. You know what I'm saying? Is this typical? Does it typically take this long? It usually takes a little while for us to get um, answers back from the doctor, yes, because they are delivering doctors, and they do surgeries, and they do office. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. All right then. Thank you. To get to that, you're welcome. Ain't nothing but a whole bunch of fucking excuses. My doctor with Blaze was a delivering doctor. He also did office and he also did surgeries all the fucking time and he volunteered and he always had time to get back to me. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, it would, I'm not saying that he didn't get busy and it didn't take maybe 24 hours or maybe sometimes even 48 hours, but it would never take him over a week to contact me back to give me just a yes or no answer. It never took that long. And do you see this? I ask, can you just ask one of the other doctors if they'll take me on? She tells me, no. Starts the process all over again. How so? Send a message out to all four doctors and whoever gets back to me first and says, yeah, I'll take you is who I would go with. I'm sorry. Is that not common sense? Somebody, you might not be able to drop it in the comments, but hit a like if you agree. I just don't understand. What is the problem? Why are we not? Why are we not on the same page here? This shit is frustrating. It makes me want to break the fuck down and make it gives it gives you like it, it makes you depressed. Like, am I going to am I am I not going to be able to find care? Is that where we're at right now? I'm gonna go and check real quick and see who has like who's there's always people asking in my area for OB recommendations I'm gonna see if somebody has asked lately do you have a due date? yes yeah, September 18th, September 18th. Mm -hmm. if I could get him as my doctor, I'd be so happy. Just like, oh my gosh, hopefully, all fingers crossed. Hopefully, they'll take me. I don't know if you guys heard her, but she was like, when I told her why they said they couldn't see me, she's like, that's odd. She's like, they're all in the same on-call group together. She's like, so it shouldn't matter. Like, I, she just, she had never heard that shit before. So nerve-wracking, so nerve-wracking this is. Nobody wants to go through this. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's already, like, it's already nerve-wracking. I don't know why people think that just because I have eight kids, like, pregnancy is not nerve-wracking. It is scary. You know what I mean? It's scary and nerve-wracking enough. And then to go and not have a doctor is, like, it's the worst feeling ever. I can't even explain it. Uh, for the amount of deliveries that he has for that month, he's fully, he's okay. maxed out pretty much. 
Okay. Um, would you guys have any other, ref like another doctor that you would refer to? Um, we do have another one within the same building as us. Okay. Um, I gotta do some research real quick, y'all, before I call this other doctor's office that she asked me to call. All right. Thank you for holding. We look forward to talking with you soon. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. Hi, uh, I'm calling because I am trying to see if doc taking any new patients. I was recently released from care from another doctor and I am looking to um, continue my OB care. Okay. All right, I'll try that. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day. I just, every time I call, it's a problem. I'm just literally going down this list of recommended doctors um, from a mom's group that's in my area. If you know your party's seven digit extension, press eight. If you are a physician or hospital, let's hope I get somebody fucking professional in here who knows what they're doing. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. Hi, Vanessa. My name's Christina. I'm calling to see if you guys are accepting any new um, patients. I'm due in September, and I just recently left my last um, doctor, and I'm looking to secure a new OBGYN. How many weeks are you? Uh, I'll be 20 weeks on Wednesday. Okay. Because you are about to be the 20 weeks, um, and you've seen a previous provider, we, I can go ahead and get you in our system, but we would need your medical records prior to being able to schedule. And um, I would have to go ahead and send a message to see if the provider will be able to take over your care. Okay, I, well, I was already released, but how do I get you my records? You can either take them directly over to the office or you can fax them over. I don't even have the records. Can I have them send them to you guys? Yeah, yeah you can go ahead and send them, um, have them, send them to us. And I can give you the facts. And what office did you want to go to? Um, Let me go ahead and get your information first. What is your first name? And I haven't had much OB care. I don't know. I'm just kind of getting concerned because it's been hard to find a doctor and secure secure a doctor. Um, and I'm getting pretty far along here. Okay. Even though it was only mm -hmm. a few visits, mm -hmm. we still would need the medical records. Okay. I'm going to place you in a brief hold. I'm going to see if maybe I could try to schedule you in within this week. That way we don't have to wait to get that permission. Okay. Just give me one moment, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Finally, somebody who gives a fuck. We'll be back in a moment. Oh, God. I just need somebody to take care of me. <laughs> take care of me, my baby. Um, I'm going to show you guys what this doctor looks like. He's very handsome, actually. Doesn't he look right. handsome? Does he, does he give you the impression that he'll take care of you? Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does he look like he's going to save your life if you're dying or if you're bleeding to death or if your baby's blue? Does he, does he look like the one who you would trust your life with? Don't think I'm crazy. I do, I do look at doctors like that. I'm like, are you going to save my life or are you just not going to give a shit? <laughs> I know looks aren't everything, but it, come on. It's a part of it, right? It's a little tiny part of it. I'm feeling a little better. I'm like, hopefully, Thank you for they get me. They get me in somewhere. I don't know where this guy is. I hope he's not far. Please, Jesus, let her be able to get me in. Let's say a prayer together, God. Father God, please let me be able to find a OBGYN that will be able to take me in with no complications. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So my camera died, so I couldn't show, I couldn't uh, get the last part of what happened. But here's an update. I'm so freaking happy. Thank you so much to whoever dropped that um, that information for this doctor in the damn group that I'm a part of for um, moms in Nevada. Okay, I am so freaking happy. I finally found a hospital or a clinic who gave a shit. Um, they got me to an OB navigator, which, uh, or OB, na uh, oh, she, she, and then they connected me to an OB advisor and she was on top of her shit. She was like, okay, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to come in tomorrow. You're going to ask for me. We'll get your records of, ev of everything that has been done with you. We're going to get all your records in. Um, and this is the hospital you'll be delivering at, blah, 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 blah. You'll be in great hands. And I'm like, thank you. <sighs> 
much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so grateful.